big ideas, two big, big ideas in arm wrestling. And the more you think about arm wrestling, the more you, you cut things away, and then you also feed things and try things, and then you test it, and then you might cut things away, feed other things, and you will find consistencies, consistencies that you come back to over and over and over in your training. Um, what I believe in arm wrestling is, there's four things really, four things. So if you talk about power lifting, there's the bench, and there's the squat, and there's the deadlift, okay? That was, it's as deep as I go right there, okay? Uh, but in arm wrestling, we measure our strength as well. When a good arm wrestler, when they're watching another opponent, and you know people post their training videos, there are certain lifts. When an arm wrestler posts them, you're like, okay, okay, that's no bull, that's no bull. That translates directly from there to on the table, okay? So the first thing, the first lift I would talk about, the first idea, the first pressure, is something that I would call rising strength, okay? And rising strength can present itself a lot of different ways, but the whole idea about rising is to attack the height, to gain the high ground. Ray, can I steal you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal Ray all day, okay? So with rising, you see this line right here. Do you see this line? Does everybody see this line? Just hold your hand up in the air. Hold it, hold it up, 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 up. Do you guys see that line that my thumb makes in his hand? Okay, rising makes this thumb lift up. There, or there, or with my fingers, here. See those moves? You can come up with the thumb, up with the thumb, over with the hand. This is parts of rising, okay? Anytime you can lift that line up and make your fingers go higher, it's normally a better day. Unless the guy is just too strong, then nothing matters, okay? But you want to always be climbing. A, B, C. A, B, C, always be climbing, rising. This is perhaps one of the most important ideas in arm wrestling, okay? When you think about the power position on the table, it is when the other person is coming to you. When the person is reaching to you. This is the power position in arm wrestling. When you think about arm wrestling, you want to use more muscles against less muscles. This is what rising enables. Anytime you have more rising, the person eventually will need to try and hold you in some way, either with their fingers or with a strap somehow. And if you have more rising, no matter what, you will be more efficient, okay? So this is rising, this is an idea that we are gonna talk about all day today because it's really about doing the very basic things very, very well. And rising is what I feel like every time I refine my game, I come back to rising, okay? And it is about making the person come to you. There's a lot of ideas in rising that we are gonna come back to all day long, okay? This is strength number one, okay? Strength number two, you can look at it. And these four strengths, if someone, like there are, there are world champions who focus on every single one of these strengths individually and together, okay? You have versatile people who have many styles. You have people who focus in on one style heavily, okay? The whole idea of rising is very, very powerful and rising can flow into the other ones very well, okay? It's a multiplier, rising makes all your other strengths just more powerful. The next one we talk about is pronation, okay, pronation. So pronation is just the, the resistance to the cup. The, the cup and the pronation work together, okay? When one person cups, if you cup me, I lose my pronation, okay? If I cup him, he loses his pronation. When we both kind of cup and pronate together, this is kind of the balance point of what a fair grip kind of is, but we all know that's imaginary, okay? No fair grips, no fair grips. Well, anyways, there are fair grips. That's why cupping and pronation are so important. Cupping and pronation. Pronation, pronation. Pronation through the thumb. 
and, and remind me, guys, and we'll have to ask questions. And what I'd ask you guys is, um, if I'm kind of going on and on, and if, I, if you guys think I'm getting off track, please stop me and ask a question. Otherwise, there will be lots of time for questions at the end, okay? And I would like to dig into the subjects deeper. Pronation is through the thumb. A lot of people, I see people when they're training their pronation, they do things like they hold something or they squeeze something. In my opinion, the entire idea of pronation comes in once the other person is holding on to you. Rising determines height. From there, the other person must chase you or hold on to you, and at which point that opens up your game of pronation. Okay, rising, pronation. The third, the third strength, we'll call it cupping, cupping. Okay, connection, connection. Just very simple, cupping of the wrist. Okay, connection to the body. Where is it going? A lot of people, when they start to think about cupping, they think uh, like a row, like a row. And this is partially true. It's partially true. Um, everything that you're trying to control, the further away from your body that it is, the less you can control it. Right? You can control things much better when you bring them to your heart. Right? But the closer you can bring it to your center, the more you can control it. Right? Cupping brings things close to you. So does rising, so does rolling to some degree, but cupping brings things directly to your center, directly to your center. So when you row, don't row to the outside, row to your center, okay? Row to your center. And in that way, cupping ties in to the pressure of supination. And supination keeps things inside your body, okay? Which thereby opens up your press, all right? We'll talk about all this stuff. But those four strengths, okay? And it doesn't matter to me who I talk to, whether I talk to Ray or Engen Terzi or John Brzezink or, or Todd Hutchings, it would not matter. I would be so shocked if any one of them told me that they are focusing primarily on something else, like a grip or a sink, primarily. It would make sense that you could build a structure around any one of them as a lead. Okay, so what is the most important part of arm wrestling? It's the center of the table. It's the center. And what is so important is the opening. How do you start the match, right? If you get your opening correct, it's all good news, okay? It's hard to pull from a defensive position because a good arm wrestler Will, will ruin your day, okay? Okay, so we understand the, the four lifts, okay? This is really what it's about to be strong. 